great religion and understand. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just he's some slick little greasy haired European, clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This is the place. <clears throat> You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman, <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. Let's go, boy. Come on. 
on then. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... <sighs> He's okay. He'll be fine. I figured... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done. The Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. something what either the dead are waking up or somebody's trying to wake up. okay come on get in cover and we'll bust the door in you boys found my pappy's watching
be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. There might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the laws. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Came in. Damn it! Come on. Let's go around the side. Get this done. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Lovely. Bronte. You all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Miss Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah. Passing you. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. 
I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son. Everything. We got him! Mom! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? Have you ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. <laughs> 